you know, 35, that's a good team over there. But our guys did a good job of executing tonight, and uh, the coaching staff did a good job of settling the guys down early. And it's all about execution with us. If we execute, there's not a team in the state that can beat. Uh, the top receiver recently, man, when, when we were out a whole pitch and a whole game. Uh, talk about what, what the weapon y'all have on your offense, but they can still get it done. You know, we kind of figured that they was going to bracket racing. Uh, but again, sticking to the plan. When we have a game plan, we stick with it. It's not about superstars in this offense. It's about spreading the ball around. And, and, and when you have a quarterback like Alden, you can find the right guy, the open guy, is easy. Uh, you know, anytime you got a trick guy like Alden, you know, three-year guy, been in the system for, for four years, and, and it's easy for him out there. You know, he take what the defense give him, and he can make every throw. So he make my job a little easy, and he make me look good. With the playoffs starting next week, Coach, what, what your team got to do to get, to get the uh, pull this week? Consistency. You got to play consistent. Uh, it don't matter who we playing, first round, second round, third round, fourth round, super down. You got to be consistent. You got to be the same effort. Pass off to the defense tonight, getting the offense back on track, and uh, we'll see you all next week for week one. Appreciate you, Coach. Good luck to you and your team rest of the season. That was good one. G-Spot Sports. I mean, it's a great win for us, you know, great team win. I'm proud of my guys, you know, they came out here and they work hard. They work hard every day from Monday to Thursday. But, you know, today, Thursday, right. so we work hard from Monday to Wednesday. <laughs> right. so, I mean, yeah. Man, your, your top receiver, man, racing man, win without a pitch. Uh, talk about all the weapons y'all got to still be able to get it done. Uh, but it's a tough defense when we're down to 35. I mean, well, we knew that they was going to guard racing, you know, with two people. So, you know, we had Best quarterback uh, in the state, baby. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so we, 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 we had to go away from our big talk, you know, throw it around. I mean, I mean, I'm truly blessed to be starting for my sophomore year, you know. Uh, I work hard every day, you know, uh, and it shows I'm sure. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not taking things lightly. You know, part of my team, and they got me to this point. All America, all America, all America, yeah. All America. I know the phone was great. All America, best quarterback in the state. My team, man, I love these guys, man. I love them. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to G Spot Sports Talk. As y'all just seen in my last segment of highlights, I attended the McDonald 35 versus in the car game this past Thursday for the district championship. Man, the atmosphere was crazy. The video gonna do it no justice, man. Um, you know, everybody thought this game was gonna be closer than what it was. Unfortunately, <laughs> Carl had other, had other plans. You know, they beat these people 56 to 12, which I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. Um, I did think they was gonna win the game, but hey, Carl's on the they locked and loaded right now. These people are focused more than ever before. Um, McDonald 35 is a, is a good team, and I think they could possibly meet back up with Carl um, in the playoffs. So it's gonna be interesting to see um, how that play out. But I gotta give credit with credit due, man, to this end of call coaching style. Coach Bryce Brown, what he's done with this offense. You know, these people are averaging 52 points a game. 52 points a game. They've scored over 50 points five times this season. They've scored over 60 points twice this season. I mean, and it's not like they ain't play no good team. They beat the St. Paul team, who is one of the top teams in 5 e. They beat Langer Walker, who is one of the top teams in 5 e. They beat uh, Brother Martin, who is one of the best Catholic teams in the state. With, with the number one running back, Bruce Jordan Swinner. They just beat McDonald 35, who was came into this game undefeated and have studs all over the field. So it's not like they're not playing anybody. Um, it's going to be real interesting to see um, if anybody in 4 can match up with them in the playoffs. And I don't see it at all. I mean, I don't think anybody have a shot in hell in 4 to beat them, but never. Um, and, that's, and that's no disrespect to any of these, of these other programs in 4 but I'm just keeping it a band, letting you know what I've seen from this team throughout the season. Um, and I think they're going to ultimately beat Neville. But, you know, that's why you play the game. And I want you to really just simulate through this whole 4 play playoff and let Neville and call play. But it's going to be real, real interesting to see how they're going to play out if they do meet up with Neville in the state championship December 9th. So, man, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned throughout the playoff. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, man. It's G-Spot Sports Talk. I'm signing out.